Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Britta and you are watching Bits with Britta. Hello and thank you so much for watching today. Today I'm going to talk about a challenge that I did. I have now done the Mediterranean Keto Diet. Mediterranean diet is a very popular diet and so is the keto diet. And I have been using the ketogenic diet for helping with weight loss since last August. The Mediterranean diet obviously started in the Mediterranean and it's how the people in the Mediterranean live and eat throughout their lives. The Mediterranean diet definitely increases lifespan, lowers the risk of cancers, heart disease, high blood pressure, type two diabetes, and it enhances brain function. The true Mediterranean diet, the diet consists of lots of vegetables, fruits, nuts, legumes, potatoes, whole grains, herbs, fish, lots of fish and seafood, and rarely any red meat, and a lot of olive oil. The ketogenic diet is considered high fat, low carb, and it's low to moderate protein, and it keeps you in a metabolic state of being in ketosis. Typically in a ketogenic diet, there are no grains, no sugars, no starches, especially starchy vegetables, no breads, and no high sugar fruits. The advantages to the ketogenic diet is it decreases insulin, it reduces triglycerides, it reduces blood pressure, fat loss is a giant advantage, and it also increases high clarity and brain function. So both diets have some great advantages. Now if we put those two diets together, what does it come up with? So a Mediterranean keto diet would have the best of both diets put together. You still restrict your carbs down to 20 carbs a day. You have plenty of healthy oils. Plenty of healthy oils consists of olive oil, avocados, avocado oil, and lots of oils that you're getting from the fishes that you are eating and the nuts that you are eating. At a training keto, you're going to eat a lot of fish and seafood instead of red meats. Eat plenty of keto-friendly vegetables, especially leafy vegetables and broccoli. Healthy nuts like pecans, macadamia nuts, walnuts. I'm gonna show you some of the meals that I had during the week with my Mediterranean Keto Challenge, and then we'll get to the results. It is Tuesday afternoon. It is 12, 12 in the afternoon. On Mediterranean Keto, I'm having three ounces of uh, grilled cod with uh, one ounce of feta cheese. I'm having four olives, Greek olives, and I'm having a quarter cup of sliced almonds. That is my first. It's Tuesday evening and it is six o'clock in the evening and we are having a Greek salad. I have um, I have lettuce, I have tomatoes, cucumbers, avocado, two kinds of olives, one that's Greek with feta, one that is just black olives, feta cheese, and some walnuts and almonds. And I have three ounces of salmon to go with it. We also have salad dressings. Some of, some of the family is using Greek vinaigrette and marinade avocado oil primal kitchen. And some of us are using lemon pepper. I chose the Greek avocado. Wednesday afternoon at one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm having a half a cup of raspberries, one egg with the everything but the bagel seasoning, and one too good vanilla Greek yogurt. And that's Wednesday my first day evening. We are eating dinner at 7.30 in the evening. We are having zoodle, zucchini noodles or zoodles with cauliflower rice, some shrimp, grilled shrimp and feta cheese. And I have some cucumbers. And Good morning, it is 11.30 in the morning and I am eating my breakfast on Thursday. Uh, I have two scrambled eggs with um, some garlic seasoning. I have uh, one avocado with some garlic seasoning from Mrs. Dash, and I have one too good blueberry yogurt, uh, and that is going to be good my morning. Meal. It is Friday at 10:30 in the morning. I am having two eggs scrambled with some garlic. I'm having one avocado with garlic seasoning, and I'm having grilled shrimp with uh, garlic and butter. 
and this that's is my Saturday morning, and it is 11.28 in the morning, and I'm having a quarter cup of raspberries. I'm having prosciutto, and I put some goat cheese on the inside, which I'm super excited about, and I have one ounce of pecans, and that'll be my first meal. This was my last meal of the day. I had three ounces of grilled salmon topped with some feta cheese, and I had two eggs scrambled with some garlic, seasonings and I had a quarter cup of macadamia nuts. And there you have it. Those are the meals that I had during my Mediterranean Keto Challenge Week. Here are my results. Did I lose? Did I gain? I actually lost. I lost two and a half pounds during the week that I did this challenge. I would say that this challenge I really enjoyed. I enjoyed the foods that I ate, especially the seafood and the fish that I was eating throughout the week. I think in terms of is it easier? Is it more difficult than what I currently do with keto? I would say it's about the same because I cook just as much. I cooked just as much as I did on Mediterranean keto than I do on keto. I would say that it would be difficult for someone to use Mediterranean keto if they are not fans of fish and seafood. But if you really enjoy olives, avocados, fish, olive oils, salads, then this is a great diet for you. Now, was my results as great as it was on the carnivore diet? No, I lost a lot more when I did the carnivore challenge. It's a very different diet. It doesn't put as much stress on your body as the carnivore challenge did. The carnivore challenge was completely different than what my body was used to and with what I normally eat with vegetables and meats and things like that. So it made more sense that I didn't lose as much on this challenge. I really enjoyed the challenge and I think it would be a very easy way to implement these foods into what I do currently for my dieting. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a part of my YouTube family. I would really appreciate it. I hope that you are doing well and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye guys.